everyone, we're getting ready to take the FF-35 back up for some more flights. Um, real quick, I just want to show um, how I got the ailerons and the elevons connected. So there's a bunch of guys asking on how they're connected to the servos. Uh, basically, there's only two servos on this airplane. Let me flip it over here. And I just have both of them running off of one servo on each side. I just have two control rods. I don't know if you can see it real good. Going to the same control horn. I've got the elevons on the very top hole and then the uh, ailerons connected to the next hole down. So uh, let's take this thing out for a test flight, and then uh, we're gonna try and do some uh, radar clocks, see what type of uh, speed we're getting out of it. Okay guys, let's take up the FF-35. <laughs> okay, you got the radar gun ready for yep. Let's see if we can pick it up. I know it's kind of a small plane. I got 72 on that. 72, thumb. really? Yeah. Here, go, thumb. 72. You got it? Yeah, wow. I got it. We got a little bit of a tailwind. Uh -huh. I knew that thing was Good. going fast. Yeah. Was. Okay, so let's try it again. Yeah, it's still like 69 on 69. that one. 69. Um, so it's actually a little faster than I thought it was. I was thinking uh -huh. only. Yeah, you're used to them 140 mile an hour airplanes, <laughs> man. <laughs> Okay. Let's Anything less than a hundred is gonna feel slow. <laughs> Seventy-one. Seventy-one. So we're right around seventy miles an hour. So that's that's cool. About where I was hoping it to be. So that's that, about the same as that the other is one. with a little bit of a tailwind. So probably flat out speed, probably around sixty-five, sixty-eight, something like that. Would get get anything 69 on that. Sixty-nine on that one. Yeah, so we're right around 70 miles an okay. hour. Well, there was a couple guys that were uh, leaving comments. They wanted to know how fast it was, so that'll give you guys a little bit of a... That one was 72. 72. That was a little That's bit same. of a dive. Yeah. Okay, so... so um, yeah, we're right around 70. It's pretty much dialed in, so um, now it's just getting the plans out for you guys. They'll be available pretty soon. I'm going to have an announcement about the plans um, once I get them ready. So that'll probably be at the end of this video. It rolls, yeah, like yeah. That rolls like crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, I did put 50% uh, Expo in there to, to make it a little bit tamer um, when you're flying it. Uh, but it still has a bad roll if you do crank the stick all the way over. Yeah, you need to put a FPV goggles on his thumb to do that. <laughs> make her sick. <laughs> and it does slow down pretty good. I don't know how alpha now you got both wheels. Uh, I didn't try that yet. Not really. The wind's kind of wacko a little bit. Gonna land. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Let me uh, bring it around. I'm gonna land it. Whoa! Okay, guys, good to go. <laughs> What's up? Spring big bubble here. It's cold out here, 24 degrees. you freezing? Freezing my took us off. <laughs> About 70 miles an hour. Okay, guys, that pretty much finishes up all the tests for this FF-35 plane, and it pretty much completes the project. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way the overall project went. 
turned out to be a pretty good flying plane. Now I was really happy with the uh, way the fuselage turned out on this one. It's a little bit more scale looking than some of the other foam board planes I've made in the past. Um, I think I'm going to be trying to do a little bit more of this style of design on future plans and stuff like that and uh, see how it comes out. So thanks for joining me for this uh, work on the FF-35. So um, basically I just have a real quick announcement too about the uh, plans for the FF-35. Uh, we have them all done and uh, basically they're going to be available to you guys. We're going to be doing it a little bit different now. Um, I've been working with Jake Marshall, our uh, Colorado Connection, who also is the uh, Mesa After School Foam Fighters uh, team teacher. Uh, I've been kind of working with him and we've been trying to think of ways to um, try and raise a little bit of money to help the kids out. So we kind of decided that some of the plans we're going to make, we're going to be um, offering for sale. Okay, so this will be the first plan on the RC Foam Fighters page that's actually going to be for sale, not free. Um, hope you guys will um, take a look at it and uh, choose to help support the kids. And also, it's also going to help fund some of the other projects we got going on and uh, help for paying for our web site, um, server space, and stuff like that. So I'll give you a little bit more details here, and uh, you guys take a look. Okay, guys, I just want to show you an example. Here's the FF35 page. I just want to show you the new procedure for uh, getting the plans that are for sale. Um, my plan is not all plans in the future are going to be for sale. I am still going to make some plans for free, but um, some of the plans here and there, they are going to be for sale to hopefully help uh, be a fundraiser for helping the Mesa team and also helping funding some of the projects that we're doing and also the web page that we have here. Um, but basically, there's going to be the same button here where you can get the PDF plans. Um, instead of having the donate button here, it's going to have the price. Um, our typical price is probably going to be $4. Um, but my plan is to have the plans on sale when they're first released, probably for one week or two weeks. Uh, they're only going to be one dollar. So basically, just click on that button. It's going to bring you to our new um, Foam Fighters PDF store, and this is where we'll have all the plans that are going to be for sale. Um, all the free plans will still be available that we already have. We're not going to change any of those to be for sale. All those will still remain free. But um, some of the newer plans that will be coming out will be for sale and some of the other new plans will also be free. So um, basically that's how it's going to work. Uh, all you have to do is you find the plan you want, hit add to cart, and as you can see it's right now set at only one dollar because it is going to be on sale for two weeks. Um, that's going to start today and all the way through February 4th. Oh hey everyone, just one more note too. Um, I just want to let you know that Jake and also the uh, Mesa Foam Fighters team out in Colorado, they have finished making the plans for the MT-1 Dark Knight airplane. They're going to be offering that plan for sale on their website to help raise some money for their uh, school after school project also. And I'll put a link down here in the bottom of the video. If you guys were interested in that, you can take a look at that by clicking on the link. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video and uh, thanks for taking the time and listening to our new procedure on some of these new plans that we're going to be offering for sale. Um, I hope some of you guys will choose to buy some of the plans to help support our kids in the uh, Mesa team and also uh, help support some of the projects that we're doing. Um, thanks and please tune in. We got more exciting stuff coming from Marcy Foam Fighters.